My name is Jenna. I'm Greek. I was born in Germany and I grew up in a very strict traditional Greek Orthodox family. We grew up almost as, as other Muslim families would, would raise their children. Our families wanted to guarantee that we would be brought up in a Christian way, in the Orthodox way. We always went for vacation all together and we never split up for vacation. So family vacations were always very nice and especially our very first vacation in the UAE about um, 13 years ago. I was, I was like 12, 13 years old and we, the first week we stayed in, in the country we did a tour all over the UAE um, and it was on a Friday when we were on the way to, uh, to a souk. Suddenly the van came on for, for the high time, for the prayer time and uh, everything stopped. People stopped their cars, took their prayer rugs and just go out and pray on the streets. The sound of the Adhan was something that changed something inside of me. And subhanAllah, I don't know what it was, but it never left me kind of. It changed something and it stayed. And I just wanted to know what it means, what it, what it actually says. I was a person that I was completely, I did not want to hear the subject death at all. I didn't want to hear about death. I, I used to leave conversations when it comes to death and I never attended funerals. My uncle died in front of my eyes, taking his uh, last breath and that was the thing that changed a lot inside of me. I just like feeling that this life isn't exactly what I thought it is and we're investing too much time and energy on things that could be gone in a second time. And because after the death of my uncle, I faced the time where I used to wake up three times in the night going to check if my father is breathing, if my mom is still breathing. A constant fear of death because you think that this is the end. That made me strongly start researching again about Islam. I had, I, I researched before about other religions as well, but I could not find any, any, uh, any truth in there or anything that will convince me. Um, when I started reading about Islam, I found all the answers that I could not find in my own religion. The fact where I got really convinced was when I read the biography of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It reminded me so much of what we used to know and read about um, Jesus, Isa, Alayhi Salam. So, I, I started reading and reading and, and this person seemed to be such a noble person with such amazing characteristics, uh, with a personality that uh, I think I've never read something similar like that before. Um, after reading the biography I was convinced that everything I know about Islam I have to delete it and just start reading from zero onwards and, and get my own my own research and, and get my own facts about this religion because obviously everything I knew before was wrong. It was, it didn't take a long time to, to find out that Islam is the truth and that there can't be any other religion in the world than this. Although I got convinced about Islam, I was scared to say the Shahada. I was like, yeah, it's the right thing. I might, you know, take this, this, uh, logic and, and this way of life inside of me but I won't ever be able to accept Islam because of my parents and my family. I knew that they will never accept it and that if they would ever get to know something like that my life would change dramatically. So I met a girl in, in Germany, from, she, she's from Egypt, her name is Noha. She helped me a lot because I met her right when I started praying to really to find the truth, to, you know, get more courage in, in, in what I'm doing. We got to know each other, we talked about Islam, she started explaining everything to me, you know, all the questions that I had. Because I was convinced, I knew it's the truth, I knew my religion was wrong, and that I couldn't live like that. After meeting Noha, I think one or one and a half months later, I took my Shahada in Germany, in the student dorms. It was supposed to be just me and her, but somehow Muslim students get to know that someone is going to convert to Islam, so I had about 20 people in the room afterwards. So, alhamdulillah, I had many witnesses. <laughs> alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, I took my shahada and I will never forget that day and I will never forget my first trip.